Hello everybody and welcome to another top 5 board gaming video. Today's topic is a really fun but very very niche one which is all about solved games. These are mostly going to be highly abstract but simplistic rules type games that have been mathematically defined to such an extent that you know who is going to win based off of looking at a board. Essentially there's two major categories for this where you have partially solved and fully solved. Partially solved includes a few subcategories but essentially it means that for specific board situations you can predict who is going to win assuming that they make a certain set of moves whereas with fully solved games you can say from the get-go you can say from any board sequence it doesn't matter there is always going to be a way that you can say this player will win based off of these particular move sets it's a really interesting sort of category of games and it's a very fun and fantastical mathematical subject that has been going on for decades. Like I said, most of these are very abstract games where they have extremely simple rules with very few moving pieces, but they have been expanding a whole lot with new advents in AI and all sorts of other stuff like that. Of course, as always, I'm really curious what you guys have to say about this. Not only what your personal favorites are in this particular category, but just in general what you think of the idea of us solving board games. Does it make you not want to play them anymore? Does it make you not care? Or does it make you want to up your game a little bit more so you can potentially beat those machines that are almost guaranteed to be able to have perfect play. But with that, we are going to jump right into my number five. At number five, I've got Checkers. This is a relatively unique game on the list because it is fully solved. Essentially, we know from the get-go who is going to win, basically based off of who is going first, assuming that we have perfect play. It's lower on the list because it's not a game that I'm a huge fan of, simply because it is a very, very simple game. That's part of why it's even able to be fully solved, is because there's not a lot of rules for in terms of how the pieces are able to move around the board, but at the same time, it is definitely a solved game and the fact is that most humans are not able to play perfectly so it's still fun to play with your friends young ones all of that kind of stuff checkers my number five at number four, I've got Mancala. This is another one that is mostly solved. I believe that there are variants of the game that are fully solved, but the thing is it's still really, really fun to play. It's another one of these where it's a very, very simple mechanical game, but at the same time, you have a lot of decisions that you're having to make on the fly. You have to change your strategy as you go, but the fact is, again, if you have perfect play on both sides, you know who is going to win from the get-go. It's still a fun game though, Mancala, and its variants, my number four. At number three, I've got Go. I've talked about this game a few times in a similar context because of things like AlphaGo and the advances in AI actually being able to play the game and also beat Grandmaster level humans, but the fact is it's still not fully solved. And the biggest reason for that is because there's still quintillion variants as far as what the actual board can end up looking like. And that's why it's a little bit higher up on the list. You still have that very, very deep strategy, even though you have exceedingly simplistic rules just like you do in checkers but the fact is that with such a large board and a lot more options as far as where you can place pieces and how they interact with one another it is not yet fully solved it's still greatly fun and it attracts a lot of players from all over the world go my number three at number two, I've got Mastermind. I've talked about this game a few times, mostly in the context of my childhood because I remember playing it. And that's partially why it's so high on the list because it really has a big nostalgia factor for me. But in the end, this is a logical deduction game and I absolutely love that style. The fundamental idea is that one player is trying to guess the colors and sequence of wooden pegs and the other player who knows the sequence is giving a small amount of information. And based off of the information you're giving, Given, you switch everything up and it becomes essentially like a science experiment. You're changing specific variables in specific orders to try to make sense of the information. It has been partially solved because there are distinct steps you can take based off of the type of information that you're given. The fact remains though that it is not fully solved and it is still something that makes you rack your brain. Even if you are capable of doing perfect play, you still have to think, okay, what is it that I need to do? How can I move these things around? It's a ton of fun. I still absolutely love it. Mastermind, my number two. 
At number one, I've got chess, the other major abstract game that I personally have from my childhood. This has been going into computers and machines and trying to be solved essentially ever since it was possible to do these massive mathematical calculations. To this day, it is not fully solved, and that's primarily because of the different ways that the pieces can move, and similarly to Go, how many different scenarios that you can have on the board. I like it though because it's a little bit more simple compared to Go as far as the strategy is concerned it's easier to pick up and just play but at the same time you still have a lot of complex decision making in involved and even if you end up doing perfect play there's no guarantee that you're actually going to win it's a ton of fun it's a great brain workout and I absolutely love it chess my number one well everybody that's gonna be it for me I hope that you enjoyed this video on my top five favorite partially or fully solved board games like I said I absolutely love this category because it's a mathematical fascination of mine and on top of that it's a very niche category there's not a whole lot of games that fit it because you need to have an abstract concept you need to have no hidden information you need to have very simple rules that you can define mathematically and that really doesn't fit the description of a lot of board games which I honestly love I enjoy the fact that we can play most board games and there is no perfect play you're going to be missing some information you're going to have things that seem like they're really Really good at the time but you cannot plan for future moves by your opponents or anything along those lines it's really really cool but at the same time I like that we can define some games because to me at least it goes to show that we will still want to play these games even if we say well if you play it perfectly then no matter what you're going to win I don't care I know I'm not gonna play perfectly I'm still gonna have a fun time doing it with that though again as always let me know anything and everything you guys think in the the comments because you guys know I love to hear all of what you have to say whether it's your favorite games in the category other categories you want to see or anything else in addition if you haven't done so already please take a look at my social media pages as well as my patreon where you can interact with myself and my channel in a whole bunch of really fun and interesting ways but with that thank you very very much again for watching I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time